see what's up. Hey, what's going on? What's going on with you guys? Ugh, I already sound terrible. This is my first time trying to talk, y'all. So bear with me. Bear with me. No, absolutely not. Baby girl is actually in the swing suite right now, which I am thankful for. Hey, girl. I am thankful for because that girl has been teasing and driving me up a wall. <laughs> and if I sound like a man, I'm just now getting my voice back. So, which is the reason why I haven't been able to make a video. Because... I couldn't talk. So now with good ventilation, you know, we are getting our my <sighs> and that's my call. And that's my call. That's my call. Okay. That's some she's gonna see. Alright. Boss alarm. If my connection keep messing up, I don't know if I can get through this, but she looks like she's still asleep, so Fingers crossed. I'm trying to be productive today because the last couple of days I've been moping around, all kind of stuff. Haven't been able to do nothing. What is the point of this? My house is a mess. Clearly, clearly I still have all my decorations up from my birthday. And if you know, that was a long time ago. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do something, <laughs> be productive, at least while the baby is still awake, I mean still sleep. But what's going on with y'all? Um, let me place this right here. <sighs> Just joining while we taking down the crib. So, um, taking down the crib because one, I'm deciding to put the crib in our room. So the thing is, her room doesn't have good ventilation at all, like in the slightest. And even every time I sleep in here with her, we both wake up really stuffy, really like, you know, just always kind of headed towards being sick. And the last couple nights we've been sleeping in our room, her stuffiness cleared away, and mine did too. And then last night I slept in here, and it all came back. So I'm like, you know what? She's probably just going to have to sleep in her room with us. And this week, for the first time, she had uh, slept in the bed with us. And, you know, that's a bit no-no for me. But she's been sleeping way longer in our bed, so go ahead and take this crib down and I can't fit it through the door up so I have to like literally take it down so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm also uh take down some of the decorations from my birthday which I should have been did but y'all know me and decorations we don't rush you know we don't rush things Ain't nobody coming to my house like that. It's few and far in between the people who come to my house. So, I'll be rushing it. <coughs> the only problem is remembering how to put it back up. I don't know about that. Get some moving. I have a giant thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see. But I had bought this big old uh 
something. I think it's this thing. This big old thing, can you see it? This big old thing. And it still don't work. Like it works, but it don't work. If that makes sense. So <clears throat> I also got an air purifier in here. Nothing. This is also the hottest room in the house. Like the hottest. Like usually you have to drop the temperature around like 70 to start to get a little cool in here. And my room, whoop, focus, not my room, but my makeup room and my room is the second coldest room in the house. So the slightest coolness get our room freezing. So I don't know. We're just trying to find a balance. Why well, I feel like I'm not getting away with this little thing. But yeah, so that's what's going on. So, because especially since um, we finally got her out the dock, it's hot. I had to. She was starting to turn. She was starting to do too much. So, I had to kind of rip the band-aid off and take her out the dock, it's hot. And we went down to visit family. And we had brought the dock, it's hot. And she hated it. For the first time, she hated the dock, it's hot. I just explained it, but I just explained it, but long story short, it's better to go in my room. Finally, one screw out after all that. Why did David kill me? He probably didn't think I was serious about putting this in our room, but I'm serious. He probably like, she ain't going to take this down. Watch me. Things been so off track too. Like my hair has been acting crazy. So I need to find like some serious deep cleaning situation. I probably should take uh this mattress out, right? That probably seemed like the right thing to do. I probably should do that. But my hair has been acting up. It act like it don't want to curl. And I don't appreciate it. Not in the slightest. <coughs> this room is a mess. Like, am I the only one that goes through this? Keeping the house clean after a baby? Like, <sighs> this scratch made you nervous. It was like, oh my. Yeah, we just moving it. No, um, it ain't that deep. I just can't breathe in here. I'm already dying in here. We got the same crib. It's a beautiful crib. Was that Nala? How am I keeping Nala asleep if my TV's so loud? You should go check on her. Oh, okay. I feel good about that because, like, I feel like my house is always dirty. I feel like it's always, like, it's too much. Let me check on now. Now she see me. She definitely ain't gonna sleep now. Ciao. Hey, baby. You about to cry? She's going through this diva stage too, where she just yells for no reason. Oh, yeah. 
It's okay, baby. It ain't that deep. I know. I know. I know it's not that deep. You about to come out of here. We're going to change you. All that good stuff. I know. Like, I ain't going to act like I was ever the cleanest person in life. Because I'm not. I kind of like to clean stuff and leave it the way it is. Because, <laughs> child, no one got time. And then after her... I swear, I clean it, and I turn around, it's dirty again. But, did I tell y'all that I officially stopped breastfeeding and pumping? It's been like four days. It feels so weird. <coughs> I have officially chilled out. I know, baby. You see me, and I see you. Wait, wait. Child, why well, I thought I just seen somebody <laughs> standing right here. <laughs> See, that's what happens. I've been watching all this stuff about these shootings and my paranoia has gotten the best of me. I swear it has. And that's a whole nother topic in itself, child. These shootings are getting out of hand. I feel so bad for Hispanics. Hey. 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 And that's a whole nother topic, but they is getting all the scrutiny. Not just pray for them. So, what do y'all do? Oh, since I'm on here, what is a good remedy for teething? Like, I know people do, like, cold stuff and all that, whatever. I had gave her a sip of, like, a really, really cold ice pop that was just mostly, like, water and, like, food coloring and stuff like that. And she went to town on that. And she liked that a little bit too much, honey. And I was like, no, I wasn't feeling it. So, and I got her a teething ring, and she ain't like that at all. I got her the little mouth chewer thing, the little thing where they chew on, like, frozen fruit, and it squeeze through the mesh. She don't like that. Now, do you? No, no, you don't. You don't like that. Then I got her, um... I give her Tylenol to help or whatever. And that helps. But still, I'm trying to find something else instead of giving her Tylenol all the time. Do y'all have any advice on that? Yeah, mama. Where your water at? Don't you kick me. That is mean, all right? Don't laugh at me. That's mean. It's really mean, mamas. That's mean. Now she's looking at the camera. She actually slept pretty good today. She has not been sleeping. Oh, my God. Her and this turning thing, I can't deal. You want to show the people you be turning all the time now? <coughs> Actually, I can pick her up. You want to show the people? You know what? I heard I could do the same thing with formula. I don't breastfeed no more. I am free. <coughs> I do want to pump a little bit so that, um, what time do you want me to stop by? Uh, I'll figure it out. I did hear you could do the same thing with a uh, formula too. I might try that. You want to freeze that? But yeah, I am free. I might pump a little bit just to do a video on trying it. 
She like, give me this. I know. I'm so sorry. But that's about it. <sighs> all right. You see yourself? You see yourself? You see yourself? Huh? You want the milk? See, she could do good at grabbing it, but she don't stay good at, like, taking it, huh? Mm-hmm. And then as soon as she get in her mouth, she done. Come on, lay down a little bit. I wonder if I can, like, you know what? I probably should do the same thing, because you know how I put baby food in her formula? I could probably do that and freeze it. Hmm. That might be a good idea. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think about that? Hmm? Let's try that out. Let's try it out. Made frozen puree pops and heat. Did you just fart on me? That is rude. Really rude. So you made frozen puree pops. Let me see if I'm in back up. <clears throat> but you said your little girl doesn't like fruit. Pound for bits, frozen rats. Okay. Yeah, she likes chewing on rats. She'll chew on rats, blankets, all that type stuff. But um, <coughs> I don't think she likes the whole fruit. But... I'll put bananas or peaches in her milk and she will she will drink that. So maybe I can like blend maybe both of them together. I went to Win Dixie the other day. They had a baby food stage one that was uh that was pineapples, oranges, and bananas in one thing. So maybe I'll do that. You wanna see the people? Yeah, maybe I'll try that out. That'll probably be pretty good. But forgive me. I am so glad and so blessed. I am finally getting some of my voice back. Um, <coughs> so if I'm coughing and stuff like that, that is why. Because your girl has been going through it. Through it. Been trying to get life together. Trying not to get Nala sick. Um... And the only thing I have been eating is ices, cause <sighs> my dad had bought me a Cuban sandwich the other day, and I don't know what to do with my life because I don't think I can eat it. You trying to smack me? Are you trying to smack me? So right now it looks like until <coughs> I think I could do a whole video without doing that and itching. It looks like it's going to be a couple of lives until I can do otherwise. So, I didn't want to leave y'all guys hanging. Also, you know what I discovered the other day? This is going to sound so bad. I ain't going to say discover because I discovered it multiple times. And after I discover it, I forget about it. So, like, maybe every other month or so. I'll try to like clean out, like thoroughly clean out my refrigerator. Tell me why. Tell me why. My placenta is still in the refrigerator. Tell me. Tell me. Why is it still there? Why is it not like in the freezer somewhere? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because I originally was going to encapsulate it and you had so much time to encapsulate it. Then I forgot about it. Then it was like, after encapsulation, so far you're going to have to cook it and all this stuff. And then I was like, I'm going to do a video on it. And then, yeah. So I put it on my refrigerator again the other day and it's still there. I'm just curious at this point to look at it. I'm probably not, more than likely not going to ingest it is that the word am i saying that right i'm not gonna eat it 
but it's in my refrigerator. But I am so curious on what it looks like right now. Is that gross? Maybe that's the medical side of me. But I kind of want to see it. And I kind of want to take it out. But it's definitely in there. It is definitely in there. I wonder if it shrunk. Is that a thing? Did you guys ever eat y'all placenta? If y'all had a baby or whatever? Do you do you do that? And if you have, how was it? Because now I'm just curious. <coughs> hey, girl. Say hi to the people. I feel like she getting so long. So long. Oh, you didn't see your placenta. Um, no, I have full on video of everything that happened with my placenta. And I swear, to me, burning the placenta was worse than burning her. That, my friend, was an experience. <laughs> that hurt. The placenta hurt. Yeah, um, somehow we were able to sneak video. I wanted to in class with mom, but I had a C-section. Oh. If you have a C-section and can't keep it, that, that you can't do that? You would think, is it not there still? Hmm, is that not a thing? I wanted to, but I had an emergency C-section and it completely forgot to ask the doctor to save it. I was forced to pain. That sucks, man. I'm glad because they ended up asking David if I wanted it. And then they came up to me second and was like, do I want it? And I was like, yeah. So we kept it. Because it's a major surgery. A friend of mine encapsulate hers and I swear it helps with postpartum. Mm. Yeah, that's the main thing. And also, I hear it helps a lot with energy. It helps a lot with energy. So, yeah. Um, yeah, at this point, I just kind of want to see what it looks like and if it still has, like, that tree of life look and all that stuff. That's crazy. It seems like when you have a C-section, they care less about your uh, placenta. And then I throw up all over me. Yeah, it seems like they care less about the placenta. But, uh, I literally just wiped there. I just wiped there. And then you're going to go ahead and throw up on me. Hey. Okay, where is that other spit up? You are unconcerned and unbothered, my friend. Where's your bear at? You see yourself? Let's get this open. Mm. Mm. Let's get this. Let's get this. You need to wipe your face anyway. I know you ain't gonna want me to do this, but I got to. I know. I know. I know. No one likes this, not even adults. Uh, but. Oh, I think I got this from What's Upon a Child. So I don't know what it originated from. What brand is this? Carter's? Oh, yeah, I got this Once Upon a Child. <laughs> oh, you too? I guess, I guess this is the thing. What you looking at? She have discovered the other day how to put her feet in her mouth, and now she just don't know what to do. You see yourself, baby? You see yourself? Look at yourself. Say hey. Say hey. She is doing a lot better with holding her head up. 
she still got weird motor skills thing going on with the shaking and the, you know, but she's trying. Anyway. What do you want? What do you want? You can't eat that. Where are your teddy bear? At? <laughs> I go, girl. I'm. It's to the point. I have so many clothes of hers that she's wearing literally one outfit a day, like one outfit a day. And I decided to stop washing dirty clothes because David ends up folding them, put them back with the old clothes that I don't know what she has and has not worn and all that. So I just. Her hamper is literally piling up so that she can literally wear everything at least once. Has my views change of daycare? Um, hmm. Where you go? Um, girl. My views of daycare, I have gotten more comfortable with the idea of it. I have accepted the situation when it comes to daycare. Like I said, I still want to, I would still rather change daycare, but I feel like I'm scared to change it because the thing is, is that if I change it, then I feel like I'm restarting that cycle of being scared again when I already got comfortable with certain people. But on the other end, it's like, if I'm going to be paying all this money, I really want to have her in a daycare that's really teaching her something, even at this level. Because if she's there 10 hours a day, I can't teach her how to sit up or sit up all the time or motor skills and grabbing stuff and all that. That's something that I expect them to teach her because they're with her longer than she's with me technically during the week. Because when she comes home, it's bath time and then time to go to sleep. So, I really want to change it in that aspect, but I'm, I'm kind of nervous. But I have gotten more comfortable, definitely. Where's your little teddy bear at? Where's your teddy bear? Uh, okay, I ain't want to get up. Hold on. But she's home with me while I'm sick because I've been having temperatures and she's been having temperatures. And if you have a temperature, you the babies can't can't um go to daycare what's wrong with you <clears throat> say hey hey say hey to the fam bam so you want to act like you can't stand y'all passing cooties nah so we home <laughs> I'm home, so I'm, I don't have to pass cooties. But there's babies sit there a good amount of the time, though. But if they have a fever, they just can't come. And because I'm able to stay home, I don't see the point of her actually going to daycare. Why are you acting like you don't know how to stand, girl? You know how to stand and use these chunky legs. Okay, you want to sit? You sit there. You want to sit? You sit there. She got to be like a good 18 pounds. Huh? She got to. You got to. So... Is David home? Why I hear the cry? He should be waiting on my pumpkin two more months. When is second baby coming? Lord! Second baby. 
I mean, I mean, hopefully we, we definitely want a baby next year. Definitely. But, because you know my health condition, I got to have them back to back, you know. But, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. Ooh, it's gone. Ooh. What is it, next year 2020? What is it now? What is it now? It's July. Oh, I keep checking it's July. It's August, ain't it? Set. I wanted 16 years. I waited 16 years. Don't be like me. Oh, no, ma'am. 16 years go by, I'm done. I'm hoping to have all the kids I want to have within the next, this is going to sound crazy, like next five years. All my kids need to happen within the next five years. After that, I am closing shop. <coughs> mm. It was four, and I wish I would have tried sooner. Four years apart? So what you wanted to have, like, a kid here already, like, once your baby was four? How many kids do you want? I want three. David wants four. I want three. David wants four. But I may be okay with two. But I feel like two is lonely. I, I think I think I think I want three. I think. Don't quote me. Pregnancy is so much too. Oh, hold on, y'all. I got text back. My friend come chair. Hmm. Would be five if you get pregnant. Yeah. <clears throat> you want some more milk? Do you want milk? Do you want it? Good job. Look at you. Yay. Look at. Oh, man. You were so close and then you got so excited. Go ahead. Hold your bottle. Yay. Oh. You can do it. Here. She trying to hold a bottle. You can do it. Here. Man, when I get too slow, she hold bottles. You can't tell me nothing. You so close. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me text this person back. Hold on. I'm coming. All right, ma'am. Oh, look. All right, I have to answer that. I just have to. Let me put the camera back down. She going to get this whole bottle thing, but I can't wait. I can't wait because you're going to be so good when you do. But uh, what was we talking about? Oh, kids. Yeah, so I'm shooting for three. Having them too far apart almost looks like you would be the only child who's being one, three, or four. Yeah. <clears throat> I know definitely after the second kid, you're going to wait a good two years. I think the last one would be like kind of on its own. So I'll probably wait. Like good two, two, two and a half years probably between the last kid. Well, I guess the third kid. I don't know if it's possible for me to do four kids, but well, I know it's possible. I don't know if I would exactly want four kids or not. But three sounds good to me. Many people not even having multiple kids like that no more. Most people, I think, having, like, two, I think that is becoming more common. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I feel like everybody I know nowadays is, like, two. 
two kids. So what do you want? Do you want the bottle? Do you want your feet? What do you want? <laughs> you want the bottle? <laughs> she don't like being cradled like a baby no more. She like to eat like this, actually. This is another new thing she's into. So what I said, I said she's out the doctor tot. She rolled three times the other night and I woke up. She was on her stomach. I almost had a heart attack. Woo, I almost had a heart attack. Um, she was kind of limp a little bit, but she was fine. Um, so I put her in the bed and she was sleeping with us the last couple of nights. I hate that itch in my throat. What else? Um, she is coming a lot more fussy, aren't you? Last couple of days have been, oop, yep, it's been tough. I had to be like one of those moms who like put their baby in the car so they go to sleep and they drive around. That's been me the last two days. Just to get her to go to sleep because she was not sleeping. We allowed her to get off her routine. When we took her around our family just so that everyone had a chance to like really spend time with her without her being on her regular schedule. And um, hey, <coughs> and that kind of messed her up because now she had like she don't want to go to bed at eight o'clock. Now I'm talking about you. You got like you don't want to go to bed at eight o'clock now. Yeah, that's right. So now we've been fighting for her to go to bed. Now that when my friend get here, child, she probably help me um put down that crib. I need one of my um, aunties or something like that. When we have more kids, I'm gonna need her. Uh, <laughs> it's just like. You know, people have been saying that lately, that she looks like me now. Every, every time people are like, I don't know, it look like David. she look like David. Now it's like, she look like you. You standing, girl. You better surf and turf. You better surf it. You better surf. Uh-huh. You standing. You You standing. Look at her rolls in the back of her leg, child. <laughs> I don't need you to get rid of some of that fat, girl. Some of them chalky mugs. <laughs> you out here twerking for the people, child. Let's turn that around. <clears throat> Look at yourself. That's you. I'm surprised she ain't trying to grab the camera. Look, that's you. That's you, baby. Baby. We'll see. She don't like me touching her hand no more. You seen that? Stink face, look. Stink face. You ain't got to look at me like that. You ain't gotta look yeah. like it. You don't. Look at your toes. Oh, yeah, damn. I'm it, holding her as a workout, child. It's a workout. Yeah, it is. Huh. Hmm. So. Is there anyone here that got more than three kids or three kids, three kids or more? And if so, how is that? How is it having three, juggling three kids? And how, how what are their ages? You have four kids? Four kids. And, and yeah, what are their ages? And 
How is it juggling? Do you still work? How does that go? Because like me, I'm looking at like, okay, let's say two kids. Two kids, that's a that's mortgage for daycare. <laughs> that's mortgage. And I can't see myself paying mortgage for kids. 12, 9, 12, 9, 1, and 4 months. And she stay at home. 12, 9, 1, and 4 months. Well, is the does the 12 and the 9-year-old help you out with the 1-year-old? I'm pretty sure the 4-month-old, you kind of juggling. But are they kind of like self-sufficient? Like, because that's what I'm thinking. Like, when your baby is kind of, like, at an age when you're talking about, like, around that 10 mark, I feel like they're going to be helping me out. 10, 5, and 4 months. That seems like, do you wish they were closer in age, the 10, 5, and 4 months? I had built-in babysitting. See? There you go. They got jobs, too. And how does your 12-year-old feel? I mean, it ain't like at the end of the day it matters because you still got a job to do, you know what I'm saying? And the one with the 10-year-old, do you work? Do you work? <laughs> Your teeth is coming in, girl. Your teeth is coming in, girl. David thinks you're going to be a diva. I hope not. That's why we need more siblings. So you can spread the love, child. You spread the love, child. I'll be watching these families on YouTube that be having, like, three kids or whatever, and they be close to age, it's like they got it together. When they juggle, they cook all the time. I'm like, even me at home with just her. And to find the time to do everything, it's like, oh, my God. How do I get still for these ponytails? I just hold tight. I don't know. She don't really like her ponytail to be in here. And most of the time, I, um, I try to, like, distract her, grab, give her something, and then touch her hair, like, just keep rubbing her hair so she don't think I'm actually trying to do it. And then I uh, grab one ponytail at a time. She usually hates it, but she'll be all right. Oh, so the ones who have, like, multiple kids and they're, like, five years apart, you really do wish they were closer in age? Because it's so weird to me. Like, when I feel like people have kids close to age, I feel like everyone's like, oh, my God, it's going to be such a struggle. Oh, my God, you had kids close to age, blah, 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 blah. But then when people actually have them, like, four or five years apart, I feel like everyone's like... Uh, I wish they were closer. It's like, which one? What you laughing about? Hmm? What you laughing about? Ain't it time to take your medicine? What you laughing about, huh? What you laughing Oh, man. Where are you spinning syringe at? Huh? Oh, okay. I understand. Where are you syringe at to this, huh? Tell me. Tell me if you've seen it. Tell me. 
Tell me if you've seen it. And if you've seen it, where you seen it at? No, oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I do. Hold on one second. Let's take your medicine. You ready? You ready? You ready? Good job. Good job. You take it all. I'm surprised how good she is at taking medicine because most babies hate medicine. But she's pretty good at it. Even if she don't like it, she'll still take it. Because you can see the frown on her face, but she'll still eat it. Ain't that right, mamas? You still eat it. I want to, I need to cut this thing off, but she ended up hurting herself. I really do. Okay, so I actually been on here in 15 minutes, who would have thought? I wonder if I could entertain her in her room while still trying to take down a crib, but maybe I should wait till my homegirl get here. Maybe. Maybe I'll wait till she get here. But anyway, what else you guys want to talk about? We already talked about why I'm taking down my crib. We already talked about as to whether or not I want more kids or whatever, whatever. And we already talked about um, I can't think. My memory don't search up far. But yeah, and I already gave you guys the update outside of me being sick, child, because I'm trying to get my life together. Every time I think I am getting on a roll with my post, it's like always something. But today is literally the... Who was you talking to? Who? Who's you yelling at? Say excuse me because that is rude. That is really rude. Okay. I don't even know what I was going to say now. Because she like cut me off. They got my homegirl. Hold on. Sorry for my panties, Sean. I'm on live just in case you heard talking. <laughs> it's probably hot in here. Is it hot in here? No, it's not too bad. Because I turned off the AC. I thought it said the best power go out to you. Uh, it did, actually. It did? Yeah. And we're waiting for ours to come back on. And I think my pants power got through. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. My friend's over here about to be a great friend and help me out. Get my yeah, life together. <laughs> because... Clearly, I can't juggle. Yes, you can. Man, no, I can't. Yes, you can. Why is this still up here? Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's been there for a minute. I know. This is like my Christmas tree. You know what? Maybe it's because it blends in so well. Yeah. <laughs> But I have to take my birthday. Like, it's almost a month. It's almost a month. Hi, Mama. Hi. Hi. You're so pretty. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> um, yeah, so nothing much just happened. We've just been talking about 
me take down my crib. So that's the goal of the day is to take down the crib. Because her room is a mess. Mm-hmm. And I need to take the crib down, put it in our room. Because the ventilation is not good. Oh. And every time we're in the room, we get sick. Yeah, so I've been sleeping. We've been sleeping in our room. And then we got better. But last time, we went back into her room. Mm-hmm. And now... Have you tried like a like a dehumidifier? I got one in there. Oh. I got one in a purifier. That's weird. Yeah, I got them both in there. I got the mm-hmm. big Vix thing, mm-hmm. and I got a uh, a purifier. So yeah. Allergies? No, I really don't have al- allergies. But then again, your body changes after a baby, though. But she go through it too oh. when she's in the room. Hmm. So last night, I had to, like, uh, last couple nights when we was in our room, we didn't have to, like, suction her nose. But mm-hmm. last night, she woke up at 3 because her nose was so stuck. Oh. But she don't usually wake up to, like, 5, 30 or 6. <coughs> That's weird. Yeah, so I'm going to just take it down. So let's go to her room. Here. Here is baby girl. Is she trying to go to you? She usually like. (laughs) Hey, hey, mama. Let's go to the room and take a look. You want me to hold the towel holder? Hold her. No. Let's go to the room. All right, so we go. You miss me? Try to get this together with this crib. Don't judge her room now. Hmm? Don't judge her room. Whatever, girl. You know you're real. Alright, I'm gonna take this. I'm planning on putting a change the table there. Yeah. Well, that's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, with parents, it happens. <laughs> so I took this part down, so I'm trying to take the other part down. Oh, and yeah, this is the day bed, right? No, this, no, this is, is the day bed. I thought, this, I thought this like converts or something. <laughs> this converts to a toddler bed. Okay. But we're not there. She has stuff in this room. Yeah. It's like it's it's warm. <coughs> it feels warm and this humid. Is a, it's the hottest room in the house. Hmm. Maybe it's just like there's so much stuff in here, maybe that's why. Like normally like when you clean out a room, it's not that it's messy, but when you have like a small room you have a lot of stuff in it, it gets warm. But this isn't like the normal amount of stuff that would be in the room. I don't know. What you trying to do, Mama? I don't know. I don't know, child. All I, I know is this need, and then I had to put it in the packing plate, and the packing mm-hmm. plate was uh too hard. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What about that little that thing y'all had in the living room that she can like like sit in, I guess, and it like rocks. Oh about? no, like, she can't fit in it. She no can't fit in it. Oh no. wow, yeah. that's quick. Yeah. <laughs> She can't fit in it. She, she talking about the mama roof. The mama roof thing. She can't fit in it though. I'm uh, only holding on to it for the, uh, the next time. Uh, uh-huh. Of course. The next time. Twins. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't wish twins on me. No, don't wish oh. twins on me. Do not wish twins on me. All kids see, are blessed. I want a brother and a sister, mama. Listen, <laughs> you is not about to be part of this type of society that try to give me too much. You think it tastes good? So one of these days. I'm definitely planning on going live again because I don't have no energy to be creating these videos for five, six hours. So I'm definitely yeah. going to do it again. Want to sit up? Soon like. Want to sit up? Yeah. Y'all pretty quiet. Huh? Talking to him. Huh? The peoples are pretty quiet. Hey, hey, mama. Gotta create this conversation thing going. Chilling. <laughs> She's sitting up. <laughs> Look. Look at her. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, I'm chilling. It's <laughs> me like that. Yeah, she like turn. Oh, where are you trying to go? Tummy time. 
Okay, thanks. <laughs> Any more coming out? See how? I'm gonna need you to pull up your hands, man. Yeah, hand that. Give me your hand. Where are you trying to go? Let me see your hand. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There we go. There we go. Especially if we're going to be like, see what? You pick me up, Mama? She doing better mm. at tummy time, but like, what is with this face smash thing? It's like turn your head to the side or something. I think she's having fun. <laughs> this is what she did. She doing? It's like when she get to the side and she just wraps. And then she just falls. Uh, can we get baby seal? Yeah. I'm gonna sit up like the next two years. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna keep this in for like the next two years. I know, right? Baby girl. I don't need you to do better at life. Trying to turn over? <laughs> See? And then when she get real, line. when she get too exhausted, then she just keep her face <laughs> in it. She barely tried to move the a little bit more. You gonna roll over? I try to teach her how to roll. Come on, you can do it. It's so hot in here. It is. It's so hot. You can do it, baby. No, you don't need that. You need no. slick. <laughs> no. Let's talk. I'm going to need you to either roll or keep your head up. Come on. Can you roll? She's kind of lazy right now. She's getting better. You can do it. I've been trying to really practice well lately, but oh my God, I'm about to pass out of here. No, I'll pick her up. Come on. No. Your mama, turn your mama stuffy. Your mama stuffy. No, I'm gonna turn out AC up. No, I'm coming back in here, but I'm gonna turn the AC. It's not it's not actually on right now. It's not actually on, that's why. I think somebody said something. What y'all say? They said uh Okay, so with the uh live streams. I generally do delete them. Um, I don't know why. I just generally do. I do delete them. Um, but if y'all like me to keep them up, I can. I just have to create proper thumbnails for them. But if you want me to do that, let me know. Um, did you see yourself moving? What do you mean by do I see myself moving? Um, it's weird. It's, it's so weird. The room is that hot. Yeah, the room is pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Did the room just start feeling like that? Or before you had her? Or did you? Know? Um, it's actually felt like this for a while. But I'm the type of person I can deal with hot, like, temperatures and stuff like that. But I noticed it more... Because we was actually sleeping in here. Once the day bed got in here. I didn't notice it as much before. Because we wasn't in here that much. She trying to roll. Come on. One more. Come on. Yeah, Come that'd on. be so nice. There this is go. the first Come time on. I've actually been able to sit and watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think this is actually the earliest I ever did a live. Come on. I usually do them a little roll? bit later. <sighs> But yeah, I could just try to create a thumbnail before and then keep them up. But that's the main reason why I delete them because they be so long. Plus, I don't have a thumbnail for them and it just looks crazy. But it'll probably be good if I keep them so that I won't feel so pressured to actually uh, 
create a next video. Because, like, Sunday, I created a I did a live Saturday and Sunday, but I deleted them both. But it looks like I didn't post at all. You roll? She said she under pressure. She trying to roll, child. You trying to roll? What are you doing? What are you doing? She looks so long. Yes. But I still keep that. I'm keeping long. I'm but yeah, I can do that because majority of the conversations that we have usually happens in the first like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And then after that, it's just me gibbering about whatever and people just watching child. So yeah, maybe I can do that and maybe answer a lot of your questions up on on the fly because um a lot of times I don't get to answer a lot of questions um in the video. In the comments, but not everyone reads the comments. Would I move into a new place for more space since your daughter's room isn't ventilated? Yes. We do hope to move in the next, like, two years, two or three years. Um, we really want to get a five-bedroom. I'm currently in a four-bedroom, or we want a four-bedroom with an office. And we're looking for something that we can at least stay in for 10 years. She doesn't take a bath, pacifier. Um, so that is the goal. Um... Also, I would like to have a room that's a little bit closer to our room. So, yeah. Because, you know, the guest room is really cold. The, the makeup room is freezing. That room is really cold. Yeah, the makeup room is freezing. Like, freezing, freezing. Want play playing here? No, it's loose. Oh, nope. <laughs> Back on over here. It's loose. <laughs> yeah, no, don't put her Back in that. Over here. Hey, what? So, yeah, it's just out of sync. What you trying to do? But, yeah. You want me to hold you? So, okay. since it's been an hour and I got my friend here, I definitely want to um, put my phone in the bag. Since it's been an hour and I got my friend here, I definitely want to talk to her because she want to talk to me about some stuff. So, uh, I'm definitely going to go back on live again, probably later on today because it seems like that day, and I think we're going to go to the park. So, I'm going to go to, I'm probably going to live when we go to park. We went to, uh, I was about to say the place. I'm going to say, I was like, I can't mm -hmm. say that on live. But, yeah, we went, I'll talk to you. But, yeah, um, my daughter's five months. But when we probably go to the park and stuff like that, I'm going to go back on live. And, plus, I got to give you the update about the crib. But, mm -hmm. I don't really have a proper place to put my phone. Also, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research on some other things I can actually use to live stream instead of my phone. Uh, Cause right now I know I have the desktop uh, computer that comes with the camera, but that camera is terrible, so terrible. You looking at me? So she's still, she's like I know, and that camera is so terrible. Like so I wonder how do people. All other alternatives go live instead of killing my phone. I don't know. I'm gonna definitely do some research because I do like doing lives because it's more personable, and I feel like the people who started this journey with me definitely um keeps up with my lives and stuff. But I do need to do better with keeping my lives available so people. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Little white. Um, is there? Just grab the whites right there. Yeah, that's me. Oh, she just like threw up all over you, chat. Yeah. yeah, but I definitely want. It was hard for me to go over here, child, to do better with that. With having the lives available so that people can just have, have personal conversation, just listen while they ain't really doing nothing, because that's what I do, honestly. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna come back, show y'all before we leave what everything is looking like with the crib. And when we go to the park and stuff later, I'm probably try to wait until David's with me so that we all can be together while at the park. I think that'll be something different to look at. But yeah, definitely. Uh, I will check you guys later. I love you guys. Um, and we shall speak soon. And say bye, baby girl. Bye.
Say bye, baby girl. Bye. Bye, baby girl. Bye. Yeah, I don't know exactly what time, but we'll just keep you guys posted.